Hey guys, we're back for another episode of Adventures in Pop Culture. I am Jeff LaPlante. I'm Jason LaPlante. And we got more mail, which is awesome. I love mail time. I do too. I mean, I'm excited about time. finding out what is inside of here. Yeah, me too. It's from Ryan Glanzer again. So, Ryan, again, yeah. just thank you so much for doing this. Ryan's my favorite uh, viewer. There's oh, no question about it. Yeah, hands it's, down. There's a leaderboard. He is 100 points ahead of everyone yeah, else. 100 points ahead of everybody yep. else. The rest of you need to get your game. Step it up. Yeah. You think you just watch our chat? No, it's yeah. just, I'm, I'm just kidding. I love all of you for watching. Sin yeah. Sincere. But I love Glander slightly more. Yeah, I get yeah. that. Um, so when I was talking to Glander about what he sent us, he said it was absolutely ridiculous and he would be shocked if it was already in our collection. Mm, so I figured, intriguing. yeah, it is very intriguing. So I figure a good way to start this video off is just we're both going to show off a couple things that we think are ridiculous and that we already have in our collection. Mm -hmm. You want to go first? I'll go first. Sweet. All right. This is, I'll bring it cl nice and close to the camera. Ooh. It's small, but it's a baby dressed up as a soldier. Uh, you got the helmet on, boots that are too large for him. Says in training. Um, I know a lot of people probably find this adorable. Uh, I find it incredibly strange. It is A baby strange. dressed up as a soldier in training. I'm not. I'm not anti-military. Uh, it's just I find it off-putting. It, it's kind of weird. Did you get that at an auction? U.S. Army on at the back of his. Uh, uh, yes. It seems like an auction yeah. thing. And I'm sure I. In training, the 1994 collection from from Protector of Freedom, Fran Baguette. Ooh. So yeah, I find it strange, ridiculous, yeah. you might say. Ridiculous. All right, for my first ridiculous item, I have this. Jesus Christ action figure. Ooh. You know, it just, I mean, it just kind of seems weird that there would be a Jesus Christ action figure. Um, originally, it retailed for $6.95, it said, so not a bad price for an action figure. No, not bad. One of my favorite things is on the bottom, it says, with posable arms and gliding action. Dang. Yeah, gliding action. Jesus. Maybe glide over water, Jesus. walk on water. But yeah, so that's my first one. Picked it up at a flea market, uh, the Brownville Flea Market. Nice. Yep. We get a lot of stuff there. Brownville Flea Market is amazing. Ah. So yeah, there, there's my first one. Jesus. Jesus. Action figure. Ah. All right. My second item. Ooh. Is this painting? Uh, the artist is Luigi Armado. Um, looked it up. And it is a known artist. Um, obviously, I think this is just a print. Okay. Don't even call that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, look at this thing. It's a terrified-looking child uh, holding a doll. But I'm assuming it's a doll. And she had the doll looks terrified. The, and she's she her hand. Super, she looks super calm. It's really creepy. It's weird. I see. I see terrified. I, I guess you're right. Calm. I see. I see emotionless. And then for some reason, she is terrifying her own doll. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's a lot of ways to interpret this thing, I guess. Yeah. But it is a creepy little painting. It is weird. Got it at an auction in Plattsmith. Didn't pay much for it. I thought this might go high, and it did not. You were, you were bidding against one other person. I think 20? Was yeah. It? yeah. I think it's a good price. Nice frame. Yeah. yeah. Uh, super, super creepy. Holds a place in the store proudly. Yeah. Very, very oh, ridiculous. It looks good in the store. It yeah. really does. All right, and then... For my next item, I have this goose. And oh, yeah. what is ridiculous about this is it is a puppet that you can control and be like, hey, how are you, goose? <laughs> it do, does some head actions and everything like that. But my favorite part about this is that this used to belong to a, a clown duo, or the duo was the clown, the female clown, and <laughs> her puppet and the clown's name was cuddly and the goose's name was cute so together they were cuddly and cute oh, I'm, I'm gonna bring it in nice word and, play nice and close for you guys so you can see that but that is the duo of cuddly and cute right there again this is another auction item and the funny thing about this is that i was bidding on a box that happened to have this inside of it and it was going i think it was approaching like the ten dollar range and so i backed out and i didn't I didn't want to spend that much on this. You didn't want to get that cute and cuddly. Or yeah. cuddly and cute. So then another lady won the box, and she saw that I was bummed out that I didn't get this goose. 
So she walked over to me and she's like, do you want the goose? And I'm like, I very much so want the goose. <laughs> That'd be crack task. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> but yeah, uh, a really strange item, but I, I really like this item too. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. If you ever wanted to be a puppeteer, that's where you I start. I've been, you know, I've been practicing a routine. I need a lot of work, but someday I'm going to wow the wow the people with I've this. seen pieces of the act. He's, he's getting that piece. So yeah, there's our ridiculous items. Let's find out what old... Uh, Let's see if old G-Land's... Glander gave us. Lived up to the hype. Oh, and uh, we got a puzzle video coming up later in the week. Is how we're doing this? I believe so. We're gonna do a puzzle and challenge and the old he... Glander gets to decide the stipulation. Yeah. The punishment. The punishment, will. if you will. Stay tuned to find out what that mm -hmm. stipulation will be. But yeah, we left it up to him. We came up with a pretty good one. So I'm thinking oh! VHS. Bubble wrap to VHS. Make, make sure... Oh, oh! I think this might be good. I think the this might be gold. The anticipation. Ooh, bubble wrap to get this out. What? Tony Danza doing life. Oh, what oh, is that? Nice. True. It's an old Tony Danza movie. I don't think we have this. No. He broke the law and lost his freedom. Now he's studying the law to win it back. Sweet. Doing life. It looks like a pretty low budget Tony Danza too. Newsday so, says it's just about perfect. Oh, wow. So it did have some real serious reviews. The New York Post says involving, unusual, a drama with an edge. Well, that's sweet. Awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. I can't wait to pop that sucker in. I um, I can't guarantee we don't have it, but I don't, I don't think we do. I've never heard of it. Huh? I don't think. It's from Sterling and Hearst Entertainment. So, yeah. Do you think they had to call him Tony? 1992. Not, you know the stories about how he... To not get confused, a lot of his characters always had to be Tony. You think his name's Tony? In that? I have. I have hear no that story? Idea. No, I haven't. Like, you would get confused if this character's name was something besides Tony. I probably, oh, so I had to I be think Glanzer told name. me that story. Huh. Yeah. That's funny. All right. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to pop that in. Glanzer, thank you so much. Yeah. Again. Yep. Number one fan. Yeah. 100 points above everyone else. Woo wee! Yeah. Well, that wraps up today's video. Yep. Hope you guys are having a good week. Stay tuned to see what Glanzer has us has the loser of this puzzle competition. Uh, woo, woo. Do yeah. Two, two sweet. Two brothers in Nebraska. Pop culture's what they love. Join them as they talk about all of their cool stuff. Adventures in pop culture. Cool. <laughs> I do not like spicy food. Could not do it, bro.